in previous videos we have shown how Curator, when it gets information about vulnerabilities coming from its own scanner from QBM or any other third-party scanner, data is in the asset database, Curator is aware of vulnerabilities and when it gets notification from IPSs or any other endpoint like in this case uh, the XGS that tells about a particular vulnerability, the, the, the IPS is going to be notifying about all the attempts of exploitation, all the attacks. And Curator, when he sees that a particular entity is vulnerable to a particular type of, uh, of, uh, of attack, is going to connect the dots and fire an offense. We show that with an only E vulnerability. We show it again with WannaCry. Uh, but now let's actually do something interesting because those vulnerabilities have a CVE. Those are well-known vulnerabilities out there. What happens when you have a, an application of your very own and you scan it with AppScan? And AppScan tells Curator, by virtue of the integration, uh, about the vulnerabilities that this particular machine actually has. Now, what we're going to be do later is among the vulnerabilities that AppScan has found on this application, there is a SQL injection one. We actually are going to attack that machine with a SQL injection vulnerability, and that traffic is going to pass through the XGS. Therefore, it's going to be sending a log to Curator, who is aware of that vulnerability, and without doing anything, a default rule in Curator should fire. Let's see that, and let's start by looking at the results of the scan in AppScan. So here in AppScan Enterprise, we see that that uh, vulnerable machine, the one that ends with address 65, has uh, at least uh, two SQL injection vulnerabilities. In that AppScan server, we define a user and gave them the uh, authority to do to send reports uh, to Curator. That's a very simple documented process. We exported the SSL certificate and put it into the trusted certificates in Curator. And then we define a scanner for AppScan. And here are the definitions. That's the, the 190 is the AppScan, AppScan Enterprise machine. And when we go into the uh, vulnerability tab, for example, or, uh, or in the asset database, we will find that that particular box has uh, some reported vulnerabilities. Here in Vulnerability Manager, if we perform a search, and actually let's make it simple and see, uh, found by scanner, we should have a drop down here for AppScan, yep it is, AppScan, we should find those vulnerabilities that we saw in AppScan Enterprise, but now Curator is aware of those. We go into the Offenses tab, we clear all the offenses, so we don't have any single uh, offense in here. Let's actually look at the XGX console, make sure that uh, we have cleared all the events in it. And here we are on their IPS event, and there's nothing as uh, clean as a whistle. And, uh, well, let's actually go ahead and attack that machine forcing the traffic to go to the XGS doing a SQL injection. So we're going to go, we're going to do this from this Windows machine that is in this network. Again, traffic is going to go to the XGS. So in this Windows server, we put the address of the vulnerable machine slash Altorio Mutual, and we are here on the actual site. We click sign in and we're going to exploit a vulnerability. Jay Smith. Uh, there's a, uh, a SQL injection vulnerability in here. Let's see if I remember this. Or one e equals one, which is going to be always true. And then I, in the password, I'm going to put uh, whatever is really irrelevant, the password. 
And if I log in, this uh, SQL injection vulnerability allows me to log in as an admin and I perform my attack. And okay. So the important thing is that that attack went through the XGS. Let's see what the XGS console can tell us about it. As suspected, XGS detected the SQL injection actually going through. Notice that the target IP is that 65 machine. Good. Let's see into Curator's log activity. So here in Curator, we see the actual events that were sent by the XGS. We have a filter here that says, show me only stuff coming from the XGS. And here we have those very same events. And if we go to the offensive stuff, beautifully we see that that default ruling curator detected that the target machine, the destination 65, was vulnerable to SQL injection. The XGS told it about SQL injection. It connected the dot and said, hey, there's a problem in here. If we display the rule, this is the actual, I really love this ruling curator. This is a default ruling curator that basically detects potential exploit where the traffic is local to local, remote to local, the destination is vulnerable to current exploit on any port. And this is the one that just fired. So again, this is a good thing to know that the capabilities of Curator of connecting the dots between vulnerabilities and attacks also works with custom built applications that do not, with ha that has vulnerabilities, but do not have a CVE associated with and Curator can still alert you when something bad is going to an endpoint that has some vulnerabilities against that type of bad attack.